Okay, welcome back to Strength Coach Tutorials, and on today's tutorial, we're going to put together a ranking spreadsheet so that you can rank your athletes um, based on their testing results over time. So, here's some features of the sheet that we're about to put together. I've got it rigged up for a 10 meter sprint time here, so as we type in some 10 meter sprint times, it's going to list all the best times along the column here give me a ranking out of the amount of athletes that we've tested as well as highlight the best sprint time um, that this athlete has performed let's get started okay as you can see here I've already got my spreadsheet set up this is actually just a modification of the spreadsheet we used in the previous video on athlete attendance and I just switched around some of the boxes and added a couple of rows and now I've got it all set up with five athletes here as well as their 10 meter times and we're, we're calculating 10 meter sprint times here and we're going to hopefully rank these athletes um, 1 to 5. So the first thing that we want to do is out of these times we want to actually pull out their minimum time or their best time. Okay, So for sprints we're always looking at the the lowest time because that means they're the fastest so we're going to use a formula to do that. So we'll just go in the first box here for best time we'll go equals min and then bracket we'll select all the numbers we want to look at here and then close that bracket so you'll see here for this athlete 1.6 is their um, best time and if we drag that down it should give us values all the way down so that looks pretty good except for down at the bottom here we have these ugly zero values so let's get rid of those with a simple if formula so what we're going to do here is just in front of the if I want you to put if min and then at the end of it we're going to put equals zero then we'll use a bracket for what it's going to do if it's true and it's double quotations we want a blank cell and then another um, comma and then we'll repeat that formula min bracket and these values here close that off so what this is actually going to do now is when we drag that down it should eliminate all of those zero values so now this cleans up our spreadsheet quite a lot then the next formula we want to use to make a ranking is we're going to go here and we're going to go equals rank so there's actually a ranking function that we can use and bracket and we're going to the number we want to rank is our best time here and then comma and then we want to look at all of these cells so we want to rank it out of all of the athletes the possible test and then it's going to ask us whether we want to look at descending or ascending so we want to take the lowest, so we'll choose ascending, and we'll be here. So you can see that this athlete's um, 5 out of 5. So then to um, keep those cells all the same, if we just put some dollar signs around our range here, D10 to D31, and hit enter, and then we can drag this formula all the way down. And again, you see it's going to give us some ugly number sign variables here when there's no data. So the way to clean that up is similar to what we did with our other formula. In front of the rank, we're going to put a formula that says if error, I-F-E-R-R-O-R, -R -R, and then bracket. On the end, it's going to ask us what we want to do if there is an error. So we go um, comma, double quotation marks for a blank cell, finish off the brackets, close that off. And then as we drag this down, what you're going to notice is that all the ugly number signs disappear. And I'm actually going to fill these all back in. We'll fix the borders here, and I'll put a thick border down at the bottom. And you can see that looks better now. And then the last functionality that we want to add to this is we want to actually highlight the fastest cell. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to highlight all of these cells for athlete number one, all of their times. And I'm going to use a conditional format, which we've used a lot. So I'm going to go here, conditional formatting, and make a new rule. And then I'm going to format cells only that contain cell value equal to, and we already know what our smallest value is. It's this cell right here. So we can hit the arrow here, click on this cell here because we've already pulled that value out. And then we'll just highlight it in a green color. Okay, so what you're going to notice is it's going to actually highlight out the smallest value. And I'll just do that to this one just so that I can show you again the process. So again, it's conditional format, new rule, format cells only that contain 
equal to our smallest value and we'll make it that green color one more time. So there you go. So this athlete ran their fastest time on January 1st and this athlete ran their fastest time on January 2nd and it'll rank our values one to five. So this can be very powerful. You can use this um, with 1RM data, with um, beep test data, with sprint times or whatever you want. Okay, so we're all finished now and to make this useful, if you wanted to use this spreadsheet for something like a front squat or any other max lift where you wanted to look at the highest value would be ranked number one and all the way to the lowest rank value ranked um, at the bottom. All you would have to do here is go back to this rank formula and instead of having it as ascending, you just change this value at the end to a zero and that makes it descending. And what you'll see is it actually takes the highest value now and ranks that number one. So I hope this video helps you out and this is an easy way to create a ranking spreadsheet for your athletes and you can use this to uh, motivate them and, and show them where they rank in comparison to other members of their team. If you want to keep up to date with everything I have going on with Strength Coach Tutorials, visit my website dsmstrength.com and then click at the top to SCT Excel Tutorials. And this will help you um, watch all of my videos. And you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at DSM Strength. Thank you very much. And please like and share this video.